With Office 2010, we were trying to create the best user experience across the PC, the phone, and the browser for all of the diverse needs and users across an organization. And at the same time, we were going for cost control compliance and those other things that IT really needs. And so with Office 2010, we have one single platform that we think delivers on both the user needs and the IT needs. Some of the most notable features in Office 2010 that are really going to help people work better together are things like co-authoring, uh, PowerPoint broadcast, and contact cards. So some of the challenges our team have faced is just simple things like working together on a project. With Office 2010, we're allowed to have different people authoring different parts of a document as an example, and that gives us a big advantage. I can be working on one paragraph, my coworker on the team can be working on another, and we don't have to worry about who's got the right document. It's always the right document. Our goal is to use Office 2010 to empower and enable our people to collaborate and work together regardless of where they are. So web apps are great for mobile users because from anywhere on the road and from any supported browser, they can go to their network, open a document, see it in full fidelity, make some quick edits, and save it back to the network so the team can keep working on it. Office 2010 client suite on your own machine, but if you're, uh, for example, in an internet cafe, you can connect to your uh, SharePoint environment and use Word and Excel just online. What I like about the web apps is that it's much more than just a technology. What it actually gives the end user is freedom. And it's that point, the freedom and the choice of not having to lug your laptop around, which makes a web app feature of Office 2010 something totally and completely different. From a personal standpoint, Outlook 2010 gives me the ability to keep my mailbox a little bit cleaner. Grouping the conversations, ignoring specific threads, you know, the whole archiving of, of my emails is a little bit easier. New features also that come with PowerPoint, you know, being a manager, we do have to create a lot of PowerPoint presentations. So I do have the tools to make the PowerPoint presentations more elegant and at the same time not be as big as they used to be in forwarding an email that used to be like 10 megs. They'll also be able to use the new analytics and power pivot features in Excel to work with just really huge amounts of data in Excel, which wasn't possible before. I think one of the things IT will really like about this Office 2010 release is just the range of options they have around deployment and getting it into the hands of users. So that's including things like better application virtualization support, uh, new 64-bit additions, new tools for application compatibility, and of course the web apps are going to give them this tremendous new flexibility to help people really take advantage of this platform. And of course, it's not just about Office 2010 on its own, but the fact that Office 2010 is an integral part of Microsoft's business productivity infrastructure, which includes servers like SharePoint and Exchange and Office Communications Server that give us a complete and comprehensive platform that's secure and easy to manage. We're looking to use AppV during the early phases of deployment of Office 2010 to control the deployment, ensure that we don't have any compatibility issues with the other applications that we have in the environment. And once we're past the phase where we're ready to deploy, then you know we will keep it for the user community that needs it, but we'll also make it available as an actual install and allow users to personalize it. For me, the greatest thing about Office 2010 is just that it really does deliver the best productivity experience across the PC, the phone, and the browser. It's just slick. 